Last time on the Lazy Geckos. We took you to a beautiful secluded anchorage where you got to enjoy a sunset. We outran a storm with some big water spouts. And we started a few projects before the kids come out for the summer. Dog hair. Oh, Bella doesn't shed. Okay, whatever. If anybody ever tells you Yorkies don't shed, don't listen to them. They're lying, so they want a Yorkie. But those things shed. There's clumps of hair all over the cockpit. Where? Where's the evidence? Well, yeah. I can show it to you right now. Maybe it's your hair, honey. There's no, there's no hair to <laughs> shed. What exactly? How you doing it? Oh, yeah, messy. I'm just sucking it out, and then you gotta get it out of here. It's oh, all. Yuck. Yeah. So you're sticking the hose in the hole? Yeah. Well, you feel better about it? Yeah, you know. Now the cockpit is important. Dirty. But you know, one of the most important things about like when you take a boat offshore or something is making sure you can get the water out of the cockpit, you know. You start taking water in the cockpit. I can fill up pretty quickly, and if you can't get it out, that's a problem. Thank goodness we have you. Yeah. I know. Poor little boat. What do you think happened? I popped the through haul. Sometimes, like a hose will pop off of a through haul if it's left open. Yeah, well, there's been like crazy storms coming through. Yeah. The boat was raised the day after it sank, but the damage had already been done. She was removed from the water and taken away. We've had some pretty strong storms while in the Keys, nothing compared to Hurricane Matthew, but obviously they can still pack a punch. Hopefully they can get her back in the water soon. What is going on? Why do you move it? You know when you pump it, it gets a little rough, like yeah, it's a little bit harder. Yeah, I know. Well, you take some Vaseline and stick it down in there and like cut in warm butter. So you must close the through halls when you do this.
That's gross. Oh my gosh. Is that like poop and stuff? Um, yeah, it's like the water. Ew. <laughs> Why are you doing that and why am I not cleaning that? Ew. Nice and smooth now. I told you, you should have used Astro, Astro Glide. I know you love that stuff. Nice and smooth. Yeah. That's gross. I'm cleaning the bathroom far. There you go. Before the, well, before the kids come, we kind of like to get all the tedious stuff out of the way. One of those is our propane tanks. They can be a pain in the butt because you don't have a car, so now we have a car. We filled them up. We have two two and a half gallon uh, propane tanks, and it's right under twenty dollars to fill them up, and it lasts like four months. Super cheap compared to like your electricity bill. And then we also picked up our mail. I got a bunch of these bad boys. You go through them really quickly. They don't last very long, so I got four. And they're the bomb. I'm gonna do them again. And really, that's it. And um, kind of just getting ready for the kids, and we're so excited. We've been waiting and waiting for the kids to come out for the summer. It's just not the same without them. The time was almost here, though, and we were so excited. We've been staying in the sweet little marina just to prepare for it. Only a few more things to do. Huh? Clean in the hall? Yeah. How's it looking? It looks good. I got a little, pulled away from the dock a little bit more to that side, but... Yeah. How long you been cleaning for? I don't know why I did the top and everything, so it's probably been about two hours, three hours. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm cleaning down below. How's that going? Oh, you know, there's a two-year-old just following behind, making it messy again. Yeah. That's all right. Our boat needed it. It's been six weeks since we washed our pumps. Oh. Here's great. Right? Yeah, it looks good. The wax is still holding well. Good job, Don. Yeah, I'm just trying to get around it. Um, the other side, I might have to miss like the middle. If I can't reach it, and I can't get the dinghy in there, and I can't let it go over the car over. I would love to go over. Huh? Paddleboard. No, it's, it's up against the dock. I'll try. All right, so we literally just drove eight hours there and eight hours back to pick up some of the stuff for the kids. What do we have here? Xbox, their games, their life jackets, water shoes, and water toys. And we also have Nacho to pull them around on the dinghy. And this is just some other random stuff. When you live on a boat, you have to um, do this kind of stuff. Go back and forth to your storage unit. I also took our winter stuff out of the boat and made some room for the kids. Lazy geckos. <laughs> the kids are here in full swing. Before heading out, we take them around Key West to enjoy what this cute little town has to offer. A white house, fishing offshore, oh, and even some craziness. We'll see you next time. Thank you patrons for all that you do.